coming up on News 15 today. And we'll show you what happens when I take a lie detector test. And that starts right now. Focused on family and the community. News 15 today starts now. Good morning. You're watching News 15 today. I'm Carter Seminoe. And I'm Alex Worsell. Thanks so much for joining us. They say that the eyes are the window to the soul, but can your eyes tell someone if you told a lie, Carter? After the break, our guest will tell us about a new technology that uses the eyes to find the truth. Don't go away. Welcome back, guys. Well, joining us now in studio, we have Todd Mickelson. He's the CEO of Converis, and he's here to talk to us about some new technology, and it's not just any technology it has to do with lie detection involving the eye is that correct that, that's correct awesome okay so tell me a little bit about it so this is the product it's called eye detect and it is a next generation lie detector wow uh, as you mentioned alex it uses the eyes to determine if you're lying this bar that you see here on the bottom is a high definition infrared camera that captures minute changes in your eyes <laughs> while you <laughs> questions that are presented to you on the computer uh, it does that at up to 60 times per second. Wow. So just a simple like eye change and it's, it's able to detect whether or not you're lying. Yeah, so it's based on the fact that it takes more mental effort to tell a lie mm -hmm. than to tell the truth. Right. And when you exert more mental effort, your eyes dilate up to a tenth of a millimeter. Uh -huh. So it's that dilation that we're monitoring during the course of the exam. Okay, well how is this new technology uh, being used to help government, law enforcement, yeah, so it's being used in a variety of areas. One of the areas is law enforcement pre-employment screening. So um, law enforcement organizations that want to know if someone has an issue in the past that would disqualify them from coming to work for the agency hmm. can verify if they're being untruthful about what they've done. For example, if they've used illegal drugs in a certain period of time in the past okay. that, would, that would disqualify them, or if they've committed a serious crime or if they have uh, unreported discipline that perhaps occurred at a different agency. Okay, and you know, what are some of the benefits of the eye detect, the newer technology, as opposed to just your standard lie detector test? Yeah, so a standard lie detector test is, is called a polygraph. Mm -hmm. It measures emotional response, such as heart rate, blood pressure, uh, respiration. Okay. We're measuring cognitive load. So this idea of exerting more mental effort to tell the lie than to tell the truth. And uh, that's exhibited through these changes in the eyes. So the benefit is it's a computer uh, with a sensor that's capturing those changes and then a computer algorithm that calculates a score telling us uh, whether or not the person is deceptive or credible. And have you found that you found it to be pretty accurate? It is. It's, uh, it's uh, 86 to 90 percent accurate. Wow in comparison to a traditional polygraph. A polygraph on average is between 75 and 85 percent accurate because you have a human being that's creating the test, right. asking the questions, and interpreting the data. Alrighty, well we are uh, gonna see just how accurate it is coming up after the break. Stay with us guys, you don't want to miss it. Welcome back guys. Well we have Todd Mickelson from Converis joining us and uh, a little bit before the break, we talked about this new technology uh, in terms of a lie detector test that uses your eyes, correct? That's correct. And I believe we uh, tested the uh, accuracy of this eye detect on uh, Mr. Carter Simino. Me. Yes. Um, to find out if you could. If, if I'm a good liar or not. Well, I could have told you that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you could, kind of, for viewers that that missed what we talked about previously, how does this all work? So this is a, uh, a next generation lie detector that measures minute changes in your eyes okay. using this infrared high definition camera while you answer a set of questions that are presented to you on the computer screen. When we lie, it takes more mental effort to right. lie than to tell the truth and that increase in mental effort causes our eyes to dilate. Okay, so shall we take a look at Carter's... Uh yeah, there I, there I, there I am. Uh so how, let's explain the premise of the test real quick. Yes, yeah, so what we did is we had Carter write down a number between 1 and 10. Mm -hmm. We asked him to lie about having written down a number. But mm -hmm. we then asked him about the numbers 1 through 10. And we measured what his eyes were doing on each of those questions as he was answering. Um, and then in the end, we feed that into an algorithm that calculates what number he wrote down. And in this case, 
he wrote down the number five. Interesting. And it identified it based on his eyes changing when he lied about uh, having written down that number. Yeah. And how, uh, <laughs> show the, 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 the numerical results of my lying, if you can. Um, yeah. Because uh, uh, you, you, you mentioned something about how I was aggressively off the norm. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> he... Um, Is it working? The mouse? So let's come let's in here see. and look at his report. Um, <laughs> all right, so here's his report. And you can see um, uh, a diagram here of, of where his eyes reacted the most on the number five. And if we scroll down, we can see what his average pupil diameter was wow. on, on each of the numbers. So we ask him about each number. Did you write down the number one? Did you write down the number two? And so forth, up to the number 10, and then back down again. And we took those results and aggregated them together. And his pupils on average were 3.8 millimeters. Mm -hmm on the questions dealing with the number five, whereas on all the other questions, they were 3.6 millimeters or less. Wow. And that's a it's a, signi it's a significant difference, yeah. Typically, if we get a tenth of a millimeter difference, then, then, then it's significant. So, Acadiana, you'll be happy to know that you can trust me. I'm not a liar. If I am, you can tell when I'm lying. Or at least this machine can. Or I can. I <laughs> or mean, I can. Or anybody. <laughs> my mother, my girlfriend, everyone knows what I'm lying. All right, guys. Well, listen, thank you so much for being here and sharing this new technology with us. Super cool. Uh, stick around, guys. After the break, we've got more news and weather coming up. You're watching KADN Fox 15 News 15.